Good afternoon, everyone. I'm going to make a Hidden Fantasy. It's a beautiful floral fragrance from Nature's Garden. So I'm going to, it's a milk soap. So I am going to get everything geared up and see if I can get this video started. And see what kind of mess I can get myself into. Usually don't soap in the evening, but we're gonna give it another shot. Let me put this down and get my goggles on. It's a heavy cream milk soap, so I got everything in here, and I didn't get my. Hurry while the kids are outside. And got a a little dog with us. Um, Mandy's on vacation, so I get to babysit not only kids but adults. So I am highly blessed. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing, but we'll figure it out. This is my fragrance, and it will slightly darken it to about a beige, so we're going to kind of lighten it up. But this is a beautiful fragrance from Nature's Garden. It's called Hidden Fantasy. I love that, and bath bombs and everything. So let's give this a little mix. specs that you see. So let's get the lie. A little bit of sea salt in there to make a harder bar. And I am going to add the fragrance, even though it's a floral, and I just finished one with a dupe of um, um, Chanel number no. 5, came out really, really nice. This is another one that behaves very well, just a little, it lightly darkens, so we're going to work around it those all mixed in there. And I shouldn't have done it because I need white. It'll be okay. It'll be the only light color in there. So I'll add a little bit more titanium dioxide. And we'll put some flowers on the top of it. So here's my white. I just messed up. Just a little bit more. Okay. And I'm just going to add the TV to it. Now, because it does have water in there, so it will be all right. So I guess I can call it an oopsie. Let's see if we need any more. Let's get that mixed up so it can start in. be the white. The base is going to be a blue. It's more more about shades of blue in this one. 
I don't know why I think of Hidden Fantasy as with the shades of blue. And I know someone out there that loves blue, Miss Cindy in South Carolina. And I think Renee and I both love the greens. But I know there's a lot of others out there that just love blues. So this is for the blue people. All right, this one is gonna be a little copper, copper penny. I think that will be good for that. And then we're gonna do a medium blue. And a light blue in the same shades. I think that will be good. So we'll set them aside. Smells good. Okay, let's get on with the blues. <laughs> I don't want to mess that white up, so I'm going to stick it way over there so I won't add nothing to it. about using micas is you don't have to put uh, wet it down I should say with um, oils or any other kind of wetting solution and Glenn will be home tonight but he says probably about three o'clock in the morning if you can't unhook that doggone trailer he was having trouble the last time when he came to load up his truck and I was even out there trying to help him and it just would not would not release so if he doesn't he'll call me at three o'clock in the morning come get him so we won't have to load up the dogs but we'll load up the kids and away we go Here's the copper penny. Just want a few 
the shade of this color. another blue in there just to make it a little bit darker. I think these two are just fine. And this one I still don't know yet, but it looks more like on the blue or greenish side, but I think it is going to be alright too. But we got to do something about this. So, I am going to use Bramble's Blue. Add a little bit of that to this. Just for the cont contrast, not the contest. Okay. Let's see what that does. Tanner looks at me like I'm crazy. Talking too much stuff. You all mute. favorite sayings is he asked me well what are you going to do you know like in the morning and then he says I know you're going to do something even if it's wrong and I said somehow that don't sound too good like I'm going to get myself in trouble but I don't do it on purpose so I'm going to do something even if it don't turn out but yeah my favorite saving, saying is I'm going to do something even if it's wrong he thinks it's funny I think that 
it's going to do it. It still looks a little green. Leave it alone. Alright. Right over there. Let's get on to the copper. be all right if that is it. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's get this moved over here. Oh, come on. This wants to fall on me. Where is my... I usually have bleach water in the soaping dishes, so... Okay, if I don't make a terrible mess, I think we're going to be all right. Oh yeah, that's set up. So, oh, that didn't set up. But it thickened up pretty good, which I'm happy. Let's bring this up. I got it all marked out. Try to see the sides where it's marked. should say it's like a cream color. It's got to represent the white. And then the copper. used to me being this quiet, are you guys? Enjoying the moment of quietness. Not even the dogs are stirring, and I don't want to say a mouse because, you know, me, I don't like mice. I am a sissy. I'm a chicken. I do not like them. And to think that when I was little, I had a pet mouse, but when you had babies and you lived in a house that was run over with mice, it does something to you. So, <laughs> I don't like mice. Mm. Yeah. 
in, I think. Just a tad, because I want to do some bluish leaves on the top in my flowers. And I know it ain't going to take very much, so I'm going to go on for it. Those are going to stay. And what I should do right now is pound this down and then I'll swirl it. fluid but isn't that nice to have a fragrance that is floral and that it works because as us soap makers know florals are not very kind okay and I do with all my heart trust nature's garden when they they come up with some good florals that I don't have to worry about. There might be some. Um, not all of their roses are behaving, but let me tell you, and i got to get some more because I love to blend with it, and that is their fresh cut roses. Mm -mm -mm. That is so nice to soak with. Does not mess you up. I think I'm going to get the rest of this and the copper on there. And I think i got enough to do the piping of the leaves. Man, tater waiter, it is quiet in here without them kids. Um, Glenn's got a doctor's appointment. He's got to go in for an injection, cortisone, I think, but they go really deep down in near their nerves and everything else in his neck. And then they're going to evaluate it for three more months to see if that's going to work. And if not, his doctor said that they'll probably end up doing surgery, which you know when they go in there and what they're going to do is cut the nerves. But as you all know, the nerves grow back. So it's just a temporary fix on that one too, but more long holding than if it was the injections. And even if it's just a local, you know, cortisone instead of, you know, digesting or ingesting it, it still, you know, it messes with your immune system. And the very last time, Glenn ended up in the hospital with pneumonia. And also because he wouldn't take my elderberry syrup. So, anyways, oops. I should have not been yakking and do this, but that'll be okay. I'll just kind of kind of just dot it on there and put another design on. But yes, so I know he'll be so happy to get over all this. It's been two years now. And then, um, on the 29th, which is my birthday, 62 years old, I cannot believe I ever made it that old. But anyways, on my birthday, July 29th, 
I am going out on the road with Glenn for two weeks because you guys stay out for two weeks. And uh, the new company have rider passes. Doesn't cost nothing, so me and Tater are going to hop aboard. And unless Glenn kicks me out and the dog out, we're going to have us a little mini vacation. Not what I want on the road with them, but anything they'd be um, near him, I guess, would be pretty cool to me. So, I'm trying to, I'm just playing around because I want those to set up so I can pipe 